What is up my friends? It is Saturday and I hope that life is treating you well. Fair to say it has been an exciting last 24 hours as the news started to break about the Anthony Gordon deal or a lack of deal at this moment in time that we broke yesterday. Before I get stuck into today's news and give you the very latest on this, I just again want to try to remind people, the comment folks, if you watch the video and you're leaving a comment, it's absolutely fine to disagree with me or anybody else, but the vitriol and some of the disgusting nature of the comments over the past 24 hours just because you didn't believe the story that we were breaking yesterday it's kind of left me a little bit shell-shocked to be honest i thought we'd gotten better than that at this point if you aren't aware what we do with our shows every night is we aggregate the news from everywhere bring it in and discuss it very occasionally we get a whisper of something that may happen and yesterday we got that with anthony gordon and we teased it in the videos because I didn't want to be the one to say this is happening because I didn't have enough confirmation. But the amount of people who were in the comments just mocking me and saying the channel knows nothing. I think at this point, six, seven years into this journey, we've earned our credentials. Like everybody, nothing is guaranteed in football. The Bellingham stuff we went on for a while, it's come out many times that Liverpool were trying to sign him. This Anthony Gordon situation, we've known about for the past few days, but... It wasn't our place to break it. So yesterday we teased it, and then today when I woke up, the story was in the mainstream media. So just for one sec, just keep that in mind. You don't always have to agree with us, but we always like to treat our audience with respect, and that's a two-way street. So let's get into this. Anthony Gordon. I don't know where this deal currently sits, but they wanted Jarrell Kwanzaa as part of it from the Newcastle side, and Liverpool rightly had no interest in bringing uh, Jarrell Kwanzaa in as part of the deal. So what I've heard today, and it is just whispers at this point, is that Newcastle could be interested in potentially looking at Kelleher. But the main part of this that I would like to draw to your attention, folks, is that this weekend is going to be big. If Liverpool are to get this deal done, I would imagine they'd want to get it done before 11pm tomorrow or July 1st when the PSR uh, calculations have to be sorted out. The financial year end of football clubs is midnight tomorrow and Premier League clubs who have profit and sustainability rule headaches need to resolve that. And this is where I've always said to you guys, I think Liverpool could capitalise because we have a lot of wiggle room. And as clubs get a little bit more desperate, I've always said to you guys in our nightly streams, that's where I think Liverpool could use their leverage and the wiggle room. Just for those who aren't aware, currently Liverpool are £173 million away from even coming close to being under profit and sustainability rule breaches. And then the new year resets on July 1st and we go again for another rolling three-year period. Right now, Anthony Gordon is, of course, away with the English national team. Gareth Southgate will allow him or any players to talk to their agents in and around transfers while away on international duty. There was talk that a medical could take place in Leipzig for Anthony Gordon. Again, I don't know where we're at with that because right now there seems to be a bit of a standoff. It does seem clear that Liverpool are the only club in this negotiation for Anthony Gordon. So there isn't two or three other clubs waiting in the wings. The likes of Fabrizio Romano and many other journalists have been discussing this today. So what I want to know from you guys, if I can ask a question to start off is, what do you think the value is in this deal if Liverpool were to buy Anthony Gordon? The numbers being thrown around all week had been about £100 million. I don't think that's fair market value for Anthony Gordon. So for me, if you could work in a deal with, as an example, Cuevin Kelleher, who we may be resigned to losing this season. If Cuevin decided he wanted to go and play first team football, I actually think Newcastle would be a great move for him. Now, this is just a whisper, the um, Kelleher part at this point. So please don't take it as gospel. But just for argument's sake, let's say the Cuevin Kelleher did become part of the deal. If Liverpool can get their valuation of around 35 to 40 million pound, that would make the Anthony Gordon part of the deal probably a lot more palatable to us. Remember, Kelleher is a homegrown product for Liverpool as well, so it would uh, it would be all profit for us in that regard. I think if he went up there, it would be a brilliant deal for him, joining a good club with a great fan base, and I think that they'd love Creeping Kelleher, and I think that he would push Nick Pope and get the number one shirt. But that part, we don't know about yet. What we do know is that Liverpool have flat out refused any attempt to bring Jarrell Kwanzaa to St. James's Park, as they should. Arne Slot and Liverpool view Jarrell Kwanzaa as a big part of the club's future after having such a great breakthrough campaign last season. Still doesn't get us to the point where I've, where I've given you the valuation for Gordon and 
I think his open market value is probably about £70 million. But Newcastle, as the selling club, of course, are free to ask whatever they like. Where we have the leverage here is clock's ticking. They're under pressure. We have Michael Edwards. And I'm quite relaxed about it. I don't know what's going to happen this weekend. But I do have a feeling that if we don't get a deal done for Gordon this weekend, I don't expect it to be done afterwards because Newcastle are under less pressure then. So let's wait and see what happens over the next 24 hours. Other deals that I need to bring to you guys or need to bring to your attention is that we've lost out on a deal that everybody, including ourselves, has reported as almost a done deal. And this is how quickly football can change. So Ryan McAdoo, remember him, the youngster from Chelsea? We discussed him on a stream the other night. We couldn't figure out if he was an attacker, a midfielder, a defender. Doesn't really matter at this point because he's going to Manchester City. Fabrizio Romano announced this earlier on. Ryan McAdoo leaves Chelsea and is set to join Manchester City. Here we go. 2008 born, talented forward, decides to join City. Deal hijacked after proposals from other Premier League top clubs. Deal in place and huge talent for Manchester City. This genuinely baffles me because I don't understand why anybody would go to Manchester City with the looming 115 charges hanging over their head. In fact, actually... It's 129 or 130 charges, but 115 is the number that's going around. So let me know your thoughts on this. He had signed, I believe, with Trent's brother's agency, which only lent into more of the belief that he would come to Liverpool. But as we see here, he's going to Manchester City. Now let's go back to Anthony Gordon before we finish up. For me, it would have to be a big indication, like Mundo Deportivo and other outlets in Spain have reported, that if we sign Gordon, Liverpool would most likely be looking at Luis Diaz moving on. I can't see any way that they wouldn't. We're overstocked on the left-hand side, or we're well-stocked, I should say, as things sit. Cody Gakpo, Luis Diaz, Diogo Jota, Darwin Nunes all can operate in the left-hand side. So if Anthony Gordon came in, for me, that would be an indication that Liverpool are expecting Barcelona to come in or that Luis Diaz may depart. Now, PSG could be the wild card in this scenario as well, but I don't see a world where Liverpool try to get Anthony Gordon unless they believe we're going to lose a forward this summer. So I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Who do you think that forward might be? Will we see a surprise in none of them? Will it be Mohamed Salah and that maybe Anthony Gordon drift over to the right or Lucho come across to the right? We're all obsessed with inverted wingers, but Anthony Gordon has played a handful of games on the right-hand side, and I think Lucho could absolutely play on the right-hand side if he stayed. I like Anthony Gordon. He's a Liverpool fan, came to our academy before he left and went to Everton's academy, and it would cause a bit of a stir, but it has to be for the right price, in my opinion. Lots of us have said many times, does it really matter to us what the price is? The real question should be, does he improve the first-team squad or not? And I guess if you're looking at it from that sense, you probably have a point as well. For me, we warned Liverpool may break their transfer record or Liverpool may push hard this summer. I know it's hard to believe that. And I, as somebody who has been critical of FSG and will continue to be critical of FSG if they don't spend, I found it a bit surprising as well. But when we get these bits and pieces, we do try to bring them to you. Of course, we try to vet the information first. But football moves quickly. So let's see what happens over the next 12 to 24 hours. If something happens tonight, I'll jump back on straight away and we'll get a stream going. I know it's Euros weekend as well, but sometimes you just got to take your days off, throw them in the bin and come on here and get talking. And that's what we've done today. I'm not going to say if I'll be back tonight or not because I said I don't know. But what I do know is this is starting to get interesting. And this weekend is going to be a very, very big weekend for the football club because i don't see it going past this weekend if it doesn't happen by tomorrow night i don't think it's happening but keep an eye on it we know england play at 5 p.m tomorrow so again i would imagine you'd want it done or at least a breakthrough today because tomorrow if anthony gordon plays you know it's very very late last minute then to get stuff sorted out so keep an eye on the situation love to know your thoughts in the comment section didn't mean to give you a lecture at the start but it is just a little bit it's a little bit disheartening when you go into the comments to try to interact with people, thank them for watching or whatever, and you're just you're met with some abusive stuff. Um, we need to be a little bit better than that, my friends. And thank you, as always, for giving up some of your time to watch the video. If you aren't aware, we are doing our live shows in Cardiff and Liverpool on August 2nd and August 4th. And, of course, you can get your tickets by scanning the QR code on the screen or using the link in the description. They're priced at just £15, and when they're gone, these will be the last live shows we are doing as a stage show. So really looking forward to it. Hope you guys can come along, show your support. But most importantly, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and we really do appreciate your continued support of the channel. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll talk to you soon. Much love. Bye-bye.